Hello, my soccer universe. Saturday, Klagenfurt got a 3-1 win over Blau-Weiß Linz. They took a lead through Bobsy that Ronivaldo equalized, however the game turned on a red card and then late on Binda and Vidra actually got the win for Klagenfurt, which is actually a great result for them because now they sit at 7.6 in the table and overtake Blau-Weiß Linz who are also at 7 points currently. In the steering derby, Hartberg and GRK played a 1-1 draw. It was a halftime lead for GRK and the Italiano own goal. Again, own goal. This is something the GRK is doing this season. Makes it a draw, but Hartberg were not very happy with what they have shown on the pitch. In a remarkable turnaround in Graz, Tyrol had a 2-0 lead in the 38th minute. However, Kiteshvili pulled one back for Sturgaz just before the halftime. And then Jan Grigic comes on, scores two, and Chukwani very late on turn it for Sturmgratz. They had to dig deep in this one. Tyrol is not as bad of a team as everyone thought this season. And yes, this was a big win, one for confidence. And actually, with other results, Sturmgratz are back top of the table. Two early goals in Altach, see Altach and Austria Vienna sharing the spoils. It ends in a 1-1. Gruber gave Austria Vienna the lead, Kola then equalizes. Both teams could have won it. Both teams will not be happy with that final result. Lusk lose at home to Wolfsburg 5-1. It is absolutely rock bottom. This is the worst I've seen Lusk ever since we hired Oliver Glasner. And yes, a few years ago, we also had a bad season, but there it was an identity that had been found out. Now there's no identity anymore. This team is haphazardly put together. It just does not look right. And it's also coach Darash took a risk with his selection by putting a lot of old players in defense to give them some wiliness, if you would like. However, <laughs> Wolfsburg has very quick attackers and they had a field day. And it also fell right for Wolfsburg, as we say, because with the first shot on goal, a brilliant one by Piesinger, who is from Linz, hits just the corner. It was a beautiful goal, 1 0, and then, yeah, it went from there. Atanga in the 30th minute gets the second one, then Sasha Horvath is sent off for a rough tackle, and then former last player Ullmann scores two in the second half, add to it Rena on goal, and yeah, the route was complete deep in stoppage time. Ljubicic converts a penalty to at least make it prettier for Lask, but there was nothing pretty about the entire performance. It is absolutely rock bottom. And I'm not even sure a coaching change will do anything here. That also has to be said because it's the squad that does not really work. And you hire the coach that actually worked well, but it's always the same thing. If an interim coach works well, this does not mean he should get the job as much as I like Darash. But this was also my fear going into it. So yeah, rock bottom and the derby is next it does not look pretty at all good thing is we have an international break right now so let's hope they get something together and yes the injury list is long but that is only part of the excuse when i look at what the players are doing on the field it seems like there are 11 individuals that do not know how to play with each other and that's a shame well after all the rock bottom stuff there is a glimmer of hope Lusk actually hired a really good coach in Markus Schock from Hartberg. Yeah, this doesn't sound so appealing. However, he did a really good job there and twice got them into the top six, even into the European playoffs. So that is an appointment I'm really, really excited about, to be honest. And I think also the Lusk fanbase has been reignited by that one. I just would have wished that he was appointed already in the summer because he was the coach that I was wishing for to be honest, but hey, better later than never. However, on the other side, I also have to say for Hartberg, this is not good news because as long as he was there, they were rather stable in the Bundesliga, but when he left, it went quickly to his relegation, which they just avoided. So yeah, there's good, there is bad, but at least for my team, I'm really, really excited about him. He also will be a sporting director. So sporting director Vujanovic was also let go. So let's hope this is improvement for the future.
the big one, of course, was the Clash of the Titans, if you would like. Austria's most supported team by fans versus Austria's most supported team financially. Rapid Vienna against Salzburg. And it really delivered. It was 2-2 two, two at the half with Nene giving Salzburg an early lead. However, Janssen and Auer turn it around before Radkov equalizes just before a half time. Janssen re-establishes Rapid's lead and they hang on to a really, really big win. This is the first time that Salzburg lost this season. Rapid on the back of the disappointment of the Europa League qualification, losing the Prague, whereas Red Bull actually made it into the Champions League. In any case, it's a huge win for Rapid. It also means that Salzburg is now not top of the table. Rapid actually go ahead of Salzburg. It's really an interesting and great result in this game. This is now two wins for Rapid at home to Salzburg in a fixture that they did not see a lot of light as of late. And looking at the next set of fixtures, we have a big one in on Saturday already. Wolfsburg against Rapid and of course the Linz Derby. And with the appointment of Markus Schropp, of course, the Linz Derby becomes a showcase of what he did in a very short period of time and is therefore, of course, a definite fixture to watch. And maybe I'm a little bit more optimistic about it right now. We have also Austria Wien against Sturm Graz. It's a very traditional duel on Sunday, I would say. So those are the fixtures to look forward to. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!